Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. Hey everyone, it's Terry Crews here and it's Lightball here. We're back for another Stanley Cup Playoffs. This is the 530 game as now the Maple Leafs have come back to win game six. And this is where it comes down into the Maple Leafs and against the Bruins. Now this is a part of a game. The Bruins already have won two game, have game one game two and game four and then game five. But the Maple Leafs had the scoring with the overtime and this is, will be the it. The winner of this one will face against the Carolina Hurricanes in the conference finals. I'm thinking that the Bruins and the Carolina Hurricanes will go back to rematch it again. But I'm saying is, how can they play like that? This is what they all expected now. They have been playing for so many other games that everyone's accounted for. And you know what? I've got a figuration in between. I'm thinking the Bruins and the Hurricanes are going to be a great matchup. Since right now Carolina will be the first part of its game in game 1 and 2 and 5 and 7. We're waiting to see in between the Toronto or Boston Bruins in games 3, 4, and 6. So that might be the next solution here for the Eastern Conference Finals, right in between of those two. So we'll find out who could take this win and move on to the Conference Finals. The next commentary for this game, I have another one on the, on the other side. This time, it's Test 2. And he's with Fan, and across from the center ice, it's Ballpoint Pen. We'll be back soon with you after this game is finished. Now, let's get cracking and let's get going. Enjoy the game, folks. Hey, everybody, it's Test Tube here, and we are back at TD Garden Arena. This is where it comes down into the last one. Do die between Tampa Bay, no, Toronto, or the Bruins of Boston. This is it, game seven. Winner will move on against Carolina Hurricanes. Offside's been called on Boston Bruins. Get ready for the next face-off. Now the will play in for the Boston Bruins. As Kasha Nax will have that puck in. Slipping across the coil as Riley takes the puck away back to Nyes. Nyes with the puck. Back to Libushkin. Here's Matthews front to the outside to Marner. And Pasternak takes the puck over now back to McAvoy. Rolling in right toward right wing. Shoot! Save! What's up by Samsonov? You know, about things happen now because of Libushkin and the team. They really have to keep it going in there. Great stop here. And it's now back the other way to Marshall for the Bruins. Off to Pasternak. Shoots its pad, block it out here by Santanov. Riley trying to handle it over. Marchand to Pasternak. Split down, and it's back again to Marner. Marner finding Matthews. Lost the puck. Now back the other way goes. And here's another one for Matthews. Slides it across. Misses the effort. Bresla trying to get back into the other zone. Backing over to the brass. Gives it over. Terzi takes it away, finding Domi. Domi firing it across. Gloves saved by Swayman, and it's back to McAvoy. You know, it doesn't happen with Jeremy McAvoy. That happened, and just happened to be Jeremy Swayman. And, of course, Charlie McAvoy. That might be a little bit of a hard way to get this one through. I don't know what's going to keep on happening, but it's just not what they all need to do for some reason. They have to just try to, like, keep on passing it down. I mean... They have to do something else for it instead. Blocker stopped made by Samsonov, and Slogan trying to get right into it. And here's Nylander again to Riley. Riley fires a shot, saved by Swayman. Now he's trying to pull it back the other way. And here's Zaka, he lost that one effort. Shot stopped by Samsonov. 17.02 left to go in the first period. Still looking for a chance to get the goal started for the first period. They're off and set, ready for the face-off. Game is still scoreless. 
Tommy Bear is wearing the face off as Logan will have a puck chance ever. Off to Brody. Battling for the loose puck of the upper chain. And it's recovered by Frederick. Right toward the back. Carla right toward the wing. Pass the Frederick shot. And it's up and over, nearing the zone by the goaltender. Geeky tries to go with the other way. Block the shot and back to Frederick. Fighting. Shot stopped. This one stays out. Geeky trying to get the puck in recovery. Yarn Crips takes it over back to Brody. Brody sprinting across right toward the other zone. Fires it. And another stop by Jeremy Swayman. The Maple Leafs are back into their offensive zone. Give it over to McMahon and back to Yarnbrook. Fires it over to Birdie. Shot up for the rebound. This one stays out. Able to clear the puck out. Lilgren has that puck in cover. Off to McMahon. Looking for the attackers to think about. Bray Zero with the puck as he fires that one up in the leaf zone. Here's McCabe right toward right around net and back to Kemp. Over now to try to give over to McMahon. Fires that puck. The Brutes will have it as Lorraine will now have to swing it over again to Carlo. Carlo over now to pass to Bovis. Bovis streaking into Laco. Should save. Trying to get back. Samsonov. Great stop and a save with under 15 minutes. I wouldn't say that Samsonov was really taking an effort. You know, that happened with most of the ability. Big chance effort. And our win puts it in for McMahon. And he will try to get that puck in to take out. The brush shot for the rebound. Not enough to take a chance. Samsonov's team still under pressure. But they're full pressure coming in for the Bruins on its way. And as for the Leafs, they win the face off as Bennett will have it. Off the fire it around the net. McAvoy has got it across right toward in the room zone. McAvoy trying to give over. Here's Camp. Shot. Save up by Swayman. Chance over to McKay. Love that out. Great stop by Swayman. Stops that one. Under 14 minutes. Officials getting set ready to drop the puck here with only 13.51 to go in the first. And as a win puts up for the Bruins, Matthews skips it over now to Lagrushkin. Riley, off the night, fires it, stopped by Swayman. Swayman's going to hold it with only just coming down to a 13 for left to go in the first. The comment between a David Pasternak's, his type of dessert has to be one of his ultimate takeover on his long range with the shot. The better angle is, keep it right toward him. Austin Matthews is one of his shock and odd values. The better of this one is not really what they all have to maintain it for. But it needs to be on a tight key range, he has to be. I'll try to find out if those two have a better range of bound. Osmonauts and Ma Matthews is really going to be a hard takeover. Let's find out if it is. And the first one scores in for the Leafs. Down the score puts up for Nyes. First goal of the night in Game 7. Now watch what happens with that deflection. You see what happens to Nice? He got that stick up, and this is what happens here. Matt goes in for the assistant captain, and that one goes, boink! That one right in toward the net. You didn't see that Swayman had that one recovering with the save. But that takeover was really impossible to get there. Now it's no way, because they don't really try to find another way to do this. We need to find another solution to get it from here. And now the chance to Matthews. Fires a shot as the rank is it over back to Geeky. Geeky right toward the right wing. Bumps it off the corner of the wall. Geeky back to Lorray. Lorray with the backhand shot. Often chopped away. It's like Bushkin will have it over. Back to Riley. Up to Matthews. Spinning across again. Now in the wing. 
Oh, it's all the ice. For two, start by sweeping. Here's Matthews. Grinslick takes it out. And Frederick will have it the other way. Another range for the Bruins. Behind the net. Got bumped up right toward the wall. Toronto clears the puck out right behind the net. Carlo back the airway, trying to go for another takeover. Spinning his way down. Over to Loray. Suits. Stop by Samsonov. 11.40 to go in the first period. Still trying to find another way to get this one goal to tie it. And now they're ready for the face-off. Just one game left here, and this will be the Golden Knights facing against the Vancouver Canucks back at Rogers Arena. That game will start at 8 p.m. If you're in the Pacific area, that game for you will be at 4 p.m. Right on toward the other side of it. Sorry, 5 p.m. Correction with the time. And that will be all the games here. If you're watching here on Sun of Beats, keep your eyes open if you can see it from here. Great chance effort for Nylander, but that's stopped safely by Sweeman. It's like a shot. Stopped by Samsonov. And it's Nylander will now try to have it over to Paterzi. Big width on the board. Nylander trying to have it out. Paterzi. Giving it over again, Domi. Fires it up. Boston back under the attack range, back to Pashadox. Near the middle, saved by Zemzanov. Nearing that midway mark of the period, one knows where we sat. Tavares wins the face off. Bet it over now to Yonkra. Toward the middle. Off to Tavares. Shot. Save again by Swayman. And as Pashadox will try to carry it out. Spreading his way down. Shoots and saved by Samsonov. Really got a great stop out there. Better place it effort. That has to be what they were expecting now that. You know, maybe these have been just crushing it in there. When I saw that shut down from McAvoy, I got a big hit to take him out. Now the way we'll put it up for the Leafs. McMahon over to now the Tenderics. Here's your own cook. Lost the effort. And Carlo will now have it again to Koya. Koya went to the right wing. Pashadox can't get the puck in control. And here's an air take. Stops that puck. This one stays out. Here's the way. In the sprinting now. Back to Bennett. Deep the bus puck back in over the yard puck. And here's the way. This one stays out of trouble. Luray trying to get over into it. Spreading across the airway now, fighting Pachinox. Fires it! Samsonov makes a save again by 8.44 to go. Now it's off to a next faceoff. 1-0 score for Toronto. Bruins wins the faceoff. Oh, I think that big one just taking over it. And it's off the goalpost. Geeky, the mind in! Full pressure, stopped by Samsonov. Here's Riley. Toward his way back to Marner. Can't take the puck back. Where was Spoon's guy at this time? Back to Heinen. Fires it! Misses wide. Sailing all the way back into the Bruins zone. Under eight minutes remaining in the first period, he will try to keep the puck over now, not finding Heinen. Hind and right over in the right wing. Frederick shot. What a bad stop here by Samsonov. Matthews tries to roll into it and now finding Knight. Knight over to Marner shot. We're getting Matthews saved by Swayman with 7.24 to 4 to go. I can't believe Jeremy Swayman is really taking his bad pressure. Pressure in the effort. 
It doesn't really mention that happens to be anybody. The next face off goes to Domi. Nylander just got shipped out and it's Grezik back the other way. Well, we're getting to the cross. Lose the upper. Ludwig again to Domi. Domi toward the left wing, finding Nylander. Nylander shoots. Save on the pack here by Swayman. Ludwig shot. Lost the upper. Grezik back the other way. Speed up across right toward the right wing. Fires it save. Puts it up by Samsonov. Brody again to Nylander. Gives it over to Paterzi. Paterzi gives it to Lilgren. Scrumming all along the board. Lost the effort. Van Mayus gives it over. Trying to give it back over. Can roll out to the puck. Here's Domi back to Nylander. Nylander shoots saved by Swayman. Oh, just a great heads up play for the goaltender reaction. Face off coming up for the Leafs and the Bruins. Face off went for, for McAvoy. Here's, here's, sorry, Coyle. And here's McAvoy. Correction with that one. They stop save and it misses wide. McAvoy to Breslick shot, misses it, and we got a penalty call. That's going to be a tripping on the Maple Leafs. Yeah, huh? Yep, yeah, I knew what's going to happen. Homer's in the penalty box. Not going to happen at all. Now, the power play starts here for the Boston Bruins in the seventh game. The win for Camp, now by Andy McKay. Flings the puck out. Chance for a tie for the Bruins. 5 3 left to remain in the first period. Taking a big hit. And now it's back to McKay. Fires it out. McAvoy gives it to Bruss. Spins across. The pass broken. Nikki shot. Saved by Samsonov. Oh, what a chance effort here. And stopped by the goaltender. Really can't let that happen now. Ilya Samsonov really have been pushing it out. Had to require a contract out there if he does it again. And a win puts it in for the Bruins and Shannon Kerr. Shot stopped again. Matthews fires the puck out. Here's the way. Kick the puck over and now back to Coyle. Coyle getting the Zaka. Toward the right wing, fires it, save, puts it in. Logan trying to get that puck in. Reaching across, stays out. And Lorraine will have it over. Back to Zaka. And it's Matthews with the puck steal. Over now to Nylander. Finds it for a short handed goal. This one stopped again by Swayman. Now it's rebounded by Zaka with 30 seconds of the power play. For a chance for tie, stop again by Samsonov. Shannon Kirk right over in toward the wing, back to what to Ben Myers. We'll say that Hoglander is ready to get back out there, and his time is about to expire. The power play's over for the Boston Bruins. It's no one score for the Bruins to tie this game. Now, they've really been doing okay lately, recently. I know Hoglander's trying to, like, let them go in, but that didn't really change what they were expecting to. That doesn't improve what they are getting to. But as you know, you've got to help them out. you just got to take your time. There's no way that you're going to let that one keep on going in. Great save on a pad by Swayman. You know, he's been doing well. I mean, just got a little bit of one mistake here because that goal got a great rebound here. Zaka right to the right wing. Off to Coakley. No shot stopped by Samsonov. Just only 2.2 left to go in the first period, and we're almost winding down.
Tamara Rich wins the face off. Here's Jordan Crook. The left wing, back to Lorraine. And here's Kiki. Fires it out on that. Riley, back the other way to Tavares. Big hit! Ouch! Pinin tried to get the puck alive. And here's Frederick. Chance to tie the game. Stopped by Samson off. 2 of 4 left to go in the first period. Still trying to get that goal back in the head. Face-off playing for the Maple Leafs is back in line, Wiskey Yarnka. Tries to roll it in right toward the right wing. Into the bar shot. Club saved here by Swayman. Under two minutes for meeting in the first period. Now this one goes back the other way. Never take over to the bar with the wing. And shot. Missed up again. High in. Campbell, low the pressure. Back to Riley. I don't know what's going to keep on happening, but they are really are fighting for a rebound. And he will stop that puck here with just only 1.32 to go. Hope you're all okay there, guys. Sorry about the camera knockdown. Face off win. And win. He scores. The win in the net. Here. That one slipped it in, and that one takes a rebound, and this is what can't get to Riley, and that one just made this one in there. That one's been popping into the net, and then watch what happened. That one skips it over, and it just went right toward the net. That was like, uh-oh, that one's not that good. That one stayed out of it along the side of the line. I was really disappointed about what's going to happen. Well, it seemed that the Maple Leafs are just getting started here in the first period. But it seemed like they were having a little bit of a rough day to start it off in Game 7. And this one stayed out by Jeremy Swayman. Here's Posture Dots right toward the right wing. Off to Marchand. Walker stop bait by Santanoff. Coil to Marchand. Shoots. Locked up. He went down as Reeves will have it. Toward a lift. And it's another stop made by Swayman. Here's Marchand. Into a left shot. Misses the target. Marchand gives it to Lorette. Carlo. Can't take the effort. Toronto back the airway fighting Reed. Shot the but safe puts up by the goaltender. And another penalty call. Uh, I think they're gonna have to start in the second period because of what happened here. I got him brutal out. And he will stop the play. Just starting with a better power play in a second. And there you go as well. This will be Ryan Reeves. But the time is winding down. So this will be a chance if they can get this one goal on the board. Matthews will put the puck out, and that will end the first period. 2-0 is a score. Got a little bit of an oopsie here, but we'll get right to the second period when we come back after this. Welcome back to Hockey of the Stanley Cup Playoffs on the A Sports, ready to start the second period. Off and ready to go as the power play resumes. Ready to find out who will take it in now. I have to take to your fan of, of the first period recap. Well, this is what happens to be Ross and Burroughs. They're messing things up a little bit. Constantly what they're doing is they've really been like trying to shut them down. But they really didn't play really well as they usually expected. Because they had to happen, they really need to find another goal to take. Just over one this time, but hopefully, let's see if they can get this one power play goal straight ahead. Here's Marchand, off the glove, and he goes right back to Lilgren. Lilgren trying to battle it out from here, and here's Marner. 19, 10 to go in the second period. Still a power play continuing for the Bruins. 
you will fire it all the way around. No icing on the rings. You will fire that puck out of here. Trying to let it go. Camp with the following battling puck. Marchand gives it to Brutz. Here's an out take. The Brutz. Shoots it. Saved up by Sensenov. Up and over the wing. Now another take to Pashinax. Again to McAvoy. And here's Marchand. Marchand trying to race it in. Shoots it. With a backhander stop by Sensenov. Looks like his time's almost about to expire. Here's the cross. Chance play for Marchand. Power play is over. And that one will end it up from here for the second period to start things off. After a first period been shut down already for the campaign for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Well, I know what happened already. I couldn't say what they were doing, but that really needs to be like all oh, a key bunch that we should say. This one really gets keeping it going, isn't it? Lot of takes, what can it possibly be done? Brad Marchand is one of his better no contest on his strength. He has a better one of keeping it in there, guys. But he's really trying to like see what he can do. The better one is, let them take a handle of it. And this is what the constipation is done for the better look of it. The, you know what happens to Brad Marchand. He gets it to the right to the side of the net, or he gets it in front of it to try to blind it up without knowing anybody. We haven't hit the midway market at Puri yet. Bruins trailing by two. Toronto up ahead by two. Now the win for the Leafs. Takes a tumble kick. And back to Boy, back the other way. Puts a pass over. Back to Coyle. Again to Pasternax. Here he comes. Coyle shoots it. No rebound for the Bruins. McAvoy. And he lost that one. Nylander trying to spin it out. Spring across for a 3 0 oh, one. Stop again by, oh, by Swayman and Coyle. Rallying the puck around the net. Nybushki to give it again to Riley. Lock a shot, Pat save. Oh, what a take. And stopped again by Sanzanov. Are you kidding me? What a chance! Now, let's say what happened. I guess Samson off this really got caught up already. That big and bald stake is just going quickly. He just really has to be confused already, but that was really a close call. I was really stunned about that happened. But the Bruins should have been able to get that one coming in. As I know, the Leafs wins the faceoff, and he has 36 saves of the night of the game. Toronto trying to build up the momentum here and get right into the conference finals. They haven't beat the Bruins in the, in the rival game since many years it's been complaining in for. But I'm thinking now that might be the time for a head. But I'll see what they can do if there is a chance here. Stopped again by Sensenov at 1545. Well, I was not sure this would take in there, but I'm hoping that. I'm hoping this might be what they're taking. It might be what they're looking at. You may never know what's going to be. Tavares wins the face off. Pulling the pressure in a full zone. Oh, picked it down. Tavares gives to Bennett. And it's freezing across and he fires it out. Here's Carlo back the airway now, back to Ben Myers. Mario shot saved by Sensenov. Face off, ready for his next position. And the wind puts it up. Carl shot. Free redirection stayed out. The rest of the right shot. No deflection given into the net. Logan tried to kick it out. Toward the middle. Matthews. Save it up. And it's now back to Marner. Here's Logan. Gives the punch out. Back to Marner. Shot. Save the game by Swayman. Austin Matthews battling along the board. Rebound again. 
again to the Irish again to the brass. Spins out of the way, finding Loray. Loray off to Heinen. Get the punch out look. Brody again to Matthews. And it's been down. Back to McAvoy. Off to Loray. Again to Heinen. Finding DP. Shoots! Bad save by Samsonov. Kiki the McAvoy for a chance effort. Never stop me. And Heinen shoots it. Didn't really get in there that time. Frederick shot. Big save by Samsonov. Oh, he's not going to take everybody out of here. He's trying to let them get away with this. Billy so like, you're not going to take me over this for sure. Get out of my way. And another win for the Bruins. And another pass stopped again by Samsonov. After a collision here, Pashanov suffered a lively, and this one was another stop made by Samsonov. And Coyle gives to McAvoy. McAvoy back to Coyle, to Marchand. For chance effort, I only did the end up play already. And it's back to Libushkin. Over to Bertuzzi, he misses the shot. Here's McAvoy. He now tries to get into it right toward the right wing. And the left, kick the puck. Bumps up the corner. And now here's Pasternak. Coil shot. Ooh, that was a little too close out there. Cam takes that puck away. Now back to Riley. And here's Nylander. McAvoy grabbed the puck out. Brzeu shoots it safe up for the pad. Again, back to McKay. Dumps the puck right around the net. Grazik finally to get a McAvoy. Dumps it up in the air. And now into the center of the ice and right behind the net is McKay. Ryan Reese right toward the right wing. Over to Hollinger, shot scores! Holmberg with a one-time effort! Now it's set 3-0. Well, you can say the crowd is really silent right now. I quit pass plus at the Ryan Reef. That one makes a great one take. I know it's a little bit hard now, but then you can see what the frustration is for Jeremy Swayman. This is really giving him a hard time to have an effort here. They really are making this with a lot of that mean. And this is not turning out great what they are expecting this go for. They really need to get this goal back. You can't waste that long to end the second period here. Bovis was the face off, and Shannon Kirk will have it over right toward right wing. And at the shot, I'm never saved by Sentinel. Here's McCain. Sprinting across, back to Shannon Kirk. Who's the effort here? The rebound puts it up. And it's lost again. Here's Reeves. Toward the right wing. Off to Homer. Missed the effort. Blocked the shot by Wimmerspoon. Here's McKay back the airway. Now finding Matthews. Spits it up right now to Bennett. Bennett with the puck in. Takes him down, and the brass will have it. Tries to spin over the move. Matthews with the puck steal. Knight, right toward the back. Lilburn shot, and it's back the airway. Matthews, save by Samsonov. By Swayman, and he scores. Mitchell Marner, closing corner in the second period. Now extend 4 0. Well, this is a silent day now. And I don't know what's going to happen because they really got an open man here. Great block pass to Mitchell Marner. And that scene I just made a closing quarter really insane. That was no joke. That being over it was just the pressure does happen. And he was right open. Got a pretty top angle. What an excellent gift over to Austin Matthews. And we just finally passed the midway mark of the period in the second. And now a win for
for Toronto Maple Leafs is Brody now as the Gamarna. And here's Nyes. Lost that one as the way gives it again to Zaka. Go to left wing. They might have shot for the rebound. And Tiblov denies that shot. Here's Austin Matthews right again to Marner. Marner shoots. Stopped by Swayman. Well, this might be a last chance for Swayman because if he doesn't get there, then a new replacement will come in for Linus Allmark. Now the wins for the Maple Leafs. Well, saved by Swayman with just 9.19 to go. Well, there's a lot of attackers out there. I see the Maple Leafs are just trying to, like, crush it in on them. But I don't know what's going to keep on happening, but they should not be. The win face-off for the Maple Leafs. Stopped again by Swayman. And now back the airway to Marchand. Trying to roll it over back to Lorraine. And it goes right to a full pressure zone. Marchand trying to escape the zone. Back to Coyle, and now he will have it in. Clearing the puck out. Coyle trying to get out of here. Carlo in trouble now. And Coyle back the airway to Poxidox. Full pressure turns off. Over and out to Geeky. We're shot. He scores. Grab his chance. Show him what you can do to try to keep it out there. Now I know Geeky made a great pass. That gives him a great Marshan, a great goal chance. The second was really taking his effort in there. And you give it over to Brian Marshan. They're finally on the board. A little bit too much play out there, but you're not going to leave early enough in every game, so don't grab your packing belongings with you. As the wind will put it in for the Maple Leafs, here's Brody. Plus the effort is fine and has it again to Frederick. Toward the left wing. The pass, line of shot, scores! Back down by two, Simon gets his first goal in the playoffs. That great pass out there, that behind the net, and this one just reaches across, that one just blocks it over. And then he was not moving out of the way. This is what happens now, Hyman. Got that great goal. He didn't really think he was going to block the shot, but that was too late. It turned over now, that's because the Bruins are really catching things up. Try to look at this game. Another win for the Bruins. Eight ten to go in the second. Off to Kiki. Shoots it. Saved by Samsonov. Battling for the puck. Oh, Frederick is trying to battle it, but Brody is enough. Back to Nylander. Nylander trying to cut it bound. Loses the Pepo Epper. Grabs the piece again to Frederick. Frederick right now toward in the left wing. Who's there across it as he's blocked it up and it goes whipping off sharp handed. Frederick shot, blocked it up. And here's Brody back the airway, right toward the left toward the right wing. And it's stopped by Swayman. They're all over right now. I mean they should never happen this top point. They don't want to leave that AO alone. Because if, the, if they don't do it well enough, then they're gonna get wept out of here too soon and quickly fast. Swayman will get the puck into the corner now. Oh, Holmberg just got that one. Took too much time out there, but I'm not going to stop you now. Swayman's going to cover up with only 6.46 left to go. And here's a chance for McAvoy. McAvoy is one of the better takeovers in. Just like the last game as Victor Pepin, he calls it sick of up ability. The better way he does this is really what they all expected him to play for. He's making this one a lot of a sickly with the challenge with the put that puck away, stick lifted, and sometimes better effort is, can't waste it all again. If he does more, he's got to do more. Now here comes another face-off. Toronto in the lead by two. And as another win puts it in for the lead since he's backed it over again to Riley. 
Riley playing bounce. Save puts it up by Swayman. Ruzelic with the game to the breast. Back to Ruzelic. Where's the shot? Stop by Samsonov. With 6 0 1 to go in the second period. Saka wins the face off, fires it, missed it wide. As Libushkin will now have it again to Riley, again the Matthews and Bonnie Marner. Give the game to Matthews, missed the shot. Now it's back to Lorraine. Can't hold on to the puck. And Riley, ready to get to Lyrushkin. Can't get the puck back into it. Here comes Saka. Can't hold the puck still enough. Matthews to Lyrushkin. And Carlo will come in the other way. Gives it back to Pashadox again to Coyle. Five minutes left in the second period. Ties to that shot for a rebound stop by Samsonov. You know, it happens with game five. This is what happens to Samsonov. He made a great one work with his work effort. You know, Florida Panthers are trying to score a bit here, but it seemed like that they were really are just trying to mess things up and over again. They really are just making this one a close game. But not just making it fast, because they really need to get this one in there slightly to get it back in the other way. They can't be losing this all at all. They need to do a lot of the quick takes, and they got to do it again. Here's Lybuski right toward the right wing. For a shot, this one stayed out of the net. Here's Reds looking for four minutes ago. Rumble down, and it's now back to Logan. Trying to give over to Brody. Brody now finds Nylander. The right wing. Who's inside? Swayman makes a save. Just 345 in the second period. Get ready for our next face-off. The unlucky battle range puts it in Toronto and Boston, but there's a big clash in there before coming down to the end of the second. As the win puts it in for the Bruins, here's McAvoy. And Iden will have it over in the left wing. Now it's back again to Nylander, off to Domi, off to Bertuzzi. Flings the puck out. Here's another take to McAvoy. Sprays his way across. Here's Kiki. Shoots! Saved by Samsonov. Under three minutes in the second period. Still trying to have a close game, 4-3, or still keep it the way it is. Puts it in. Takes a big hit. Behind it, fighting McAvoy. And here's Kreslick. Over to Frederick. Can't hold on to this one as this one goes out and it goes back to Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi trying to link, let it go out. Big head take down here. Great double tackle. And but the penalty's called on the Bruins. Oh no, this is not turning great. I think that might have been an interference call. I guess he's in the penalty box now. <laughs> on the rough one again, the power plays on for Toronto Maple Leafs. Just 2.19 in a second. That's for right now the win puts it in. Here's Matthews. Chops the puck. A little bit late behind it as the Brest will try to sell it out. Off to Carlo. Get to Laco. Laco right toward the left, left wing. Another shot. This one stopped again by Santanov. And here's Riley. Streaking in the attack. Shoots it. Number Saint puts it up by, by Swayman. And back to Laco. Over to DeBrus. Dumps the puck out of the zone. He now finds it to Riley and gives a chance now to McMahon. 
Matthews Locko. One minute left to remain in the Toronto Leafs power play, and just 1.15 left in the second. Just almost done for the second period before the third period comes in. Fires it saved by Swayman. Oh, almost going to take it back, but Swayman's got it covered up. Just one minute left in the second period. Well, the Maple Leafs really wanted to score the power play this time, and we're going to take it over by the Boston Bruins. And now the win puts it in for the Bruins. Here's Lorraine. And toward the middle. And Yarncook takes the puck over. Here's Marder. The cutting bound. Back to Bertuzzi. Fires it save. That gets out of here and Coyle right the other way. Moves it over. That was a no save. Leaves her on down to expire. Back to full man. Great job for the Bruins as they are trying to get that one out. And that one was great enough for Jeremy Swain to pick up a save. Yeah, I was very nice. You really have to like and go for a whole time and effort. This was really what they all expected because that really has to like be a aggressive right at this moment. And the timing is still need to be done right. They really need to make sure they have that one all settled in. If they don't do, then it's gonna be a hard take, and that pressure needs to stop where he's going. That's it, the second period is over. Third period's coming up after this. Will this be a tight game for the Bruins? Or the Maple Leafs staying alive, up by two. Be right back after this. It all comes down to this, the third period in game seven. Well, we're off and ready to go. Ice is all shoot up, and let's find out if they can even this game up in the third. Save by Samson Oh, that was a little bit of a close range out there. And that was a little bit of a hard range to put in the bounding. But I was just going to say that this was almost going to take in for a great segment, a long time after. It's not turning really what they all expected for, but hey, don't let anyone take over this one if you can make it. Clearly gets bammed up on the wall. Grizzly. Who's that up for Barney McAvoy? Oh, with the shot, but a rebound, this one can't get in. And Naive with the puck give the gap back to Riley, and now Barney Lightbushka. Passing the blue line, and a save puts up by Swayman. Ben might try to have it over right toward the right wing. This one's off, but a shot, he scores! Jake Nebraska bringing the team back down by one. Well, you can see how he got it in front of him. That's what is happening to Jake Nebraska. He made his goal a great chance opportunity. You know, I know that safety puts it in not that bad, but I see that the Bruins are really wanting to get this one in there. That's going to be a close range. And this one did want to get the back of the out of here as well. That stands about. He really needs to call a challenge, and I don't know what's going on. Well, it's right now, the fans are already just loving it. They are just bringing the team back down by one. Let's hope that this one is a tie game. Yeah, I hope so. I think there will be. Stock a shot. Misses the target line. Will Gray back the airway. Here's Matthews right toward the right wing, now by Marner. Marner up with the Matthews shot, safe puts it up. And now it's back to McAvoy. Takes a big hit. Now it's rolled over. A chance for Brody again to Lubrin. Lubrin gives it over. The pass broken up by DeBrunce. McAvoy, tie it up. And the jersey takes it over. Spins across now finding Brody. DeBrunce takes the puck away now finding Breslin. Shoots it safe, puts it up. This one stopped! But stayed out of his own as New Lantern gives the game to Matthews. Another take. Shot saved up by, by Swayman again to Geeky. He will clear the puck out. And here's Brody who will have it over right to the right way again to Domi. Fires it around that. 
McAvoy trying to take a spill out, and now it's over in again to Nylander. Unable to time it right down right. And Frederick will have it over right toward in the wing. In the center it goes. Lost the buck effort. Heinen. Back to Frederick. And Heinen. Try to get over it. This one stopped. McCabe's got that puck. Fires it out of the net. And here's Carlo. And it goes right over again to Frederick. Oh, big hit almost down. Here's the jersey. Saucer pass. Broken up. Here's Geeky right toward in the, the right wing. And our share is tied again. Oh, that was stopped by Samsonov. Lorraine. Off to Carlo. Blocked the shot. That one stays out of his own, and this one goes right back to Pasternak's. Well, you know what the easier one to often say? I think that one really keeps it going in there. They were really not expecting that one. This one is going to be a tight change. It may not be what they're all are going for, but I am really surprised. That has to be what they've done in it rightly. And this is not what I was always expecting here, because this one is popping in it so soon. And this one is really a, an, an intense game. I don't know what's going to happen now, but they are really are expecting now. Playing it on a hard one, not the better inbound now. Tabers with the puck. But we're spinning back to Shittenker. Marche went to a right wing. Over to Coyle. Coyle lost that one. Bennett's going to cross again to Tavares. Misses wide. And here's Thomas Spoon. Big toward the right wing. Misses out, and this one will fire it around the net. And here's Riley with 14 minutes to go back to Tavares. Thomas Spoon on the outside. Keeps it out of here. And here's another look for Lightwishkin again to Riley. Here's Matthews. 13.45 left to go in the third. Soon as it's safe, puts up by Swayman. Taken along by Wilberspoon. Crossing over, Matt Myers with the puck. Is out that plus save by Samsonov. No team 26 to go in the third period. Lots of time to energize it up and get ready for the faceoff. Lots of time left in this period. The Bruins are starting to get their tie in the games if they can make it. It's a 4 3 game. Lightwishkin like now finding Riley. Here comes Matthews. Over and out to Marner. Backhand shot blocked. Here's the Bruss. Shoots it save. Lightwishkin like now finds Nice. Holding the puck in play. Good blocker stopped by, by Swayman. Yeah, I need to get to that. And he stole. There's two goals for Mitchell Marner. Got close to goaltender now, breaking up the chain. Watch what the cut happened to Mitchell Marner. You know what happens now? That one gets it over, and this one's the same. But then that one cuts it over. This one got blinded, sided through, and that one just made that save, and he just went right in toward nearing the crease. End. That was supposed to be a turning and no goal at all. Matthew swings the face off as like Ruskin has it again to Marner. Marner going for three. Oh, big save. And Matthews, he scores! Oh boy, it looks like you're going to say bye bye to the Bruins. I'm thinking, like, you know what? I got it through. They're never going to get this over it. Oh, give us a break with that, won't you? Yeah, what the crap in there? That one just got kind of made in there. He said, How did I just do that? That was just wow. What a take. Yeah, it's just actually a frustration happening over here. And I can tell you now, it seems like the coaches are getting a little bit unresponsed here. And McAvoy will now have to try to give it over again back to Geeky. And here's Frederick. Shoots it. Off the rebound it goes. Oh, Samsonov. What a stopping save. Right outside the net. 
with 12, 15 to go. Now that we're off to wear our face off, ready to go. And the win. Over and off the back of the net. And Domi will have it right to her right wing. Left wing firing around the net. Katie Scrasley. Over now to Kiki. Kiki sprinting across. And Riley's got that puck back. Throwing in. Save. That one stays out of his own. And here's McAvoy. Back to Kiki. Again to Heinen. Heinen shot. Saved by Sp to Samsonov. Here comes Riley. On a chance for the rebound. Doesn't have to do it again. Nylander trying to block the shot. Great chance effort. Just 11 minutes remaining in the third. Heinen. Shoots it. Out of the sink. Goes back again. Go for another take and it's stopped by Samsonov. Nearing the midway mark of the period. 6-3 is the score. Now the win puts it in for the Bruins. Lorraine fires a shot. Big stop on a play by Samsonov. Oh, he's reaching like... He's really wanted to take it over this, but I don't know, how on earth did he do that? That's what happens when he was trying to get that fucking, and get that out. I can't believe it that they're doing it all over again. And playing it for the right timing? I mean, can't just let that one lose it out again. Here's another one for Riley. Over to Yarncook. Over back, back to McMahon. Here's the virus. The library skin. Carlo takes the puck away. And Carlos putting it down. Over now, Passionaz. Stops it over. Here's Riley back to McMahon. McMahon shoots. Big save by Swayman. 9.44 left to remain in the regulation period. Looks like the Leafs are going to be heading into the conference finals for the first time. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the Boston Bruins. They won last year, but I think the Maple Leafs had them enough to get right to the second round. I guess their game ends here. And a big stop puts it in by Swayman. Back to Zaka. And here's an air take to the brass. And here's Zaka. Zaka lost that one and it's Brody will have it back. Here's another one to McMahon. And Luger will have it over. Streaky right toward the left wing. Race on net. Saved by Swayman. Nine minutes left to remain in the third period. We'll be trying to get to Matthews for two. Three minutes scores. Oh, wow. Brandon Mc Bobby McMahon just scored it after a save by Swayman. And it looks like he's time to get out of here. Well, that must have been a save here. He was close right toward near in the crease. And that was almost going to be a challenge on the effort. If he gets right toward the red line, yeah, see? He went right toward near it. He didn't put all this escape in the, in the crease. And that doesn't mean like he just didn't do what he had, had been told for. That wasn't really ha happening enough. But I, I tell you now, that one's going to be a little change, a little bit disappointing here. And now back the airway to Gressley. Looks like that Leah Solmarker will be ready here soon if they get another goal. Now here's Gressley. And back to McAvoy. Off to Heinen. Heinen gives to McAvoy. And again to Kiki. First shot. Never stop made by Samson Abbey. We'll cover up. Just say it was seven to go. Attention all folks, we've got your new episode that's happening here that we've got the girls exciting for. If you purchase your tickets, this is where the chance is to see the BFDI TBOT episode 11 and in Anime Sanity season 2, 15. Oh, I don't know what happened here. That was a good person. I think so many people talking to that. Yeah, I'm talking again. I think what happened here. He was right near it, and I think that boy fucking missed it again. And I think the goaltender must have had an error already. 
that was a little bit of a disappointment after, but that was not turning what they were expecting. I don't know if that was the plug it in there, but hey, it must be a snipe or it could be somebody else plugging in. I think it could be fun. And the women played in for the least with under eight minutes. Here's Sneaky back to McElroy, back to Heinen. And here's Krasnick again to Frederick. Frederick finding Heinen. Soon say cuff saved by Samsonov. Stop the cup covering on the puck. Just 736 remaining in third. Okay, here we go. Take number two. Attention all folks. We got a new episode that's happening here for the BFDI and the MA Sandy Tour of 2024. This will be the first location to the final location. The first stop will be New York City, happening here at, at the same location, but a different theater. Then, the next location, Houston and Texas, as this one is ready to bring things on in another one on the other location. Then the third location will be Seattle in the Pacific of Midwest in the left. And then the second side will be Los Angeles in the West Coast. At the same location, just like the last years of the BFDI and MSA experience, and Sabian Media Center, that's the same location, just like that. And a new location is happening. Chicago, in back into the, into the central section, and to wrap it up in August 3rd to 4th, will be Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And that will be in the last part of the location in between. And that will be all for the tour and with some new expansion play in 2025. So there might be a good change up, but you will never know when this new location pops up. As for me in a moment, the new episode will be the FDI TPOT 11, following along with the returning of season two, episode 15. If you have your tickets down, hope you'll enjoy your show. And don't forget, you can meet one of your creators Sign autographs, VIP tickets are available, and now and if you already have them, they're sold out. And with the VIP selectors, you will get a chance to have a meet and greet creators, and also a better way to have a great seat upgrade. Enjoy the show! The puck rebound back the air away. 523 left to go in the third. And here's another one. Back again to Matthews. Matthews trying to spread it across the air and now finding Zaka. And now he rolls it over to Grask again to Van Myers. Coming down to a five minute mark. Shot saved by Samsonov. Lybushkin now trying to have it over. The other way go again to Bennett. And here's another one to Naive. Marner shoots. Saved by Swayman. 4.2 left to go in the third period and get ready for the next face-off. Well, I'll have it over to ballpoint pen. Pretty big red to the most. Austin Matthews was really well keeping an eye on this pressure. When ball was shot with our ability, I was really happy enough. That would really turn to be a great ball for them. And this is what they always expect. And I must admittedly, he have done a one of his better techniques and he has been ever doing it in game seven. He's like the best out there, guys. Geeky now finding Heinen. Heinen over to get another right shot and misses off it off the wall. And now rolls it over. Bumps the wall. Naiz, quit down. Carlo, right again to Heinen. Heinen shoots, save, puts it up by Bezalevsky by Samsonov, and now Paterzi. 3.42 left to go in the third. And now McCabe will have it over. Rushing it down, back to Nylander, again to Bennett. He's over now to McCabe, again to Paterzi. Paterzi, shoots it, stopped by Swayman. 3.32 left to go in the third, period. Ready for a next face-off in between of those two. And don't forget, we got the last game coming up for you. That will be at 8.30 p.m. And so you'll got the, the next one coming in, as this one, the last game of our triple header night, as we have is the Golden Knights facing against the Vancouver Canucks back at Rogers Arena. That'll be all games here, only on 7 beats. Then, following along with the other games, 
go back to NBA as we're ready to start the Eastern Conference Finals for the Heat and Celtics. As for the last postseason, happened to be occurrences for them as they already beat against the Boston Celtics and Miami Heat. Let's hope there is another chance if they could keep that out for more. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I guess it might be what they're expecting. Saved by Samson Off. And let me say this. I think this is another Eastern Conference showdown in the playoffs. I think it's going to happen again there, folks. We're going to see what's going on for now. I agree. Save. Oh, I think Swayman almost went out of control. And Carlo with the rebound. Yeah, I think he's going zigzagging across. I mean, he's going for looking right. I mean, he's going quickly. Trying to watch and say, where's the puck at? It looks like he did not know where it was going. For the rebound. And Brody takes the puck away. Marchand gives it back to McAvoy. Shoots it and saved by Samson off. 142 left to go in the third period. Fans are leaving their seats, but they are saluting for them, making a big thank you out of them for the Boston Bruins. Now the win for Tavares. Lubin will have it over right toward the left wing, and then Myers has it again to the Bruns. Here's another take by Myers shot. That one's chopped, and it's now back again to the Bruns. Here's another one that fires a shot. Big save. On the inbound, finding by Myers to get him at the boy. And that one stopped. Lubin gets it over to McMahon. Closes the gap out of him. Final minute in the third period. They're losing time effort right now. And here's Matthews. Gives it over in and saved by Swayman. Well, I guess everyone's going to leave it already. I think the Maple Leafs are going to be heading on. They're heading to Carolina in you know, the first game. And this is what's going to happen now because they made it all the way through. Because last season, it wasn't what they were expecting. But for, for last two seasons, it happened to be what they are for, for preparing it for. And I must have been, we must have got that one really good. Uh, stopping that puck in. The corner of it wasn't really well they were expecting it. And that's what the Maple Leafs has done. They made it to the second round, beating against the Tampa Bay Lightning. And then Florida Panthers, they just already made a loss. But now, it is postseason. They already lost. They already made a win. And now as the Maple Leafs, they're ready to move on to the conference finals. And that about wraps it up, folks. Maple Leafs are moving on to the conference finals for the first time, beating the Bruins. Everyone's favorite team. Got a little disappointed out there. But hey, thank you fans for having the support, and we hopefully will see you all for next season. We still have a long way to go, but there's a couple more stops to get there. Until the end. Yep, definitely so. So that it is it right now. Test tube along with Ben and Ball Play Pen. Thanks for tuning us for the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs. And this has been a presentation of the conference semifinals. Peace out. Until next time. Alright guys, thank you so much. Time for three star players of the game. Mitchell Marner was up two goals and one assist in two hits. He only made it just one his way down to his appearances. Then, second star goes to Austin Matthews with a goal, four assists, and six, hit. six hits. With a take to take look, and this one good up and over and beating over the goaltender. And for your number one star, as we got Ilya Samsonov, 81 saves. Great percentage out there, done excellent work. And now their team is getting in to the conference finals. Here's how they do with the total statistics. 85 over 73 for Boston Bruins for total shots on goal. Then it was 75 over 62 for Toronto Maple Leafs. 705 over 525 for Boston Bruins on the time on the top. Then it was 91 over 90 grassing percentage of the Boston Bruins. And it was 34 over 25 for Toronto Maple Leafs. That done great. Four minute penalty kill was Toronto and two minute penalty kill was Boston. No power play goals happened, and that was totally it. And you know what happens now? I think we're going to get ready for the last game. Now, of course we are. If you're joining us here for the Golden Knights and the Canucks, the last game, 8.30, be ready there. If you have a notification bell, please turn it on, and that way you will get notified here for, for our next and final game of the playoffs. 
Thanks for watching, and I hope I'll see you all again for the final game. And for Light Bulb 2. And yeah, I will be sticking around here for all the games. Let's hope there there is. See you next time, everybody, for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. This is Lightball and Terry Crews signing you out. Thanks for watching. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.